Hey, what's going on? So, I've got this uh, Dell Optiplex. I've got Windows 10 Pro on, and uh, it's running pretty well. Uh, I wanted to show you. Um, let's go ahead and go to the website first. What I like to use for antivirus. I've been using this for maybe you know, five plus years. Um, AVG Free. And I just want the AVG free program. So if I click on this main link, I've already been here. You can see the ones that I've already clicked on. They've got this free download. And so I'm thinking, great. And I click on it, and it ends up to installing something called AVG Zen, which is apparently the free um, antivirus bundled in with their other programs that I really don't want or care about. So uh, I recommend going down to this link down here, AVG Antivirus uh, free 2015. You might want to change your your search result to antivirus uh, AVG antivirus free 2015. See what comes up. Now I download this, and I've already downloaded it. But let's see what happens. So this is what it should look like when you go to it, and then it'll start to download. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel it, or not. There we go. View downloads. So. I've already stuck it into here. So this is the one that downloads for the Zen. I'll go ahead and get rid of that. So a major problem with this particular machine is that it revs up really high on the fan when the CPU actually is active. So let's see what's going on. Yep, move that over there. So, I've got this in. Can I abandon it? No, I can't. So, it's doing some anti malware executable thing through Windows and it's making my processor work. So, as soon as that's done, it'll quiet down a little bit. But, um,. That's specific, this fan noise is specific to this particular model, so, anyways, um, your mileage may vary, but as this, as the uh, CPU gets hot, as it starts to work, uh, this fan gets really loud, so, you've been warned. Alright, so I'm throwing in the antivirus. I'm going to close down anything that's unnecessary, so my computer didn't freak out too much. But as you can see, let's look at the processing power that it's using right now. So the biggest task is 20% for the install. Looks like the, the other thing went away. And my memory is going fine. Uh, I like uh, AVG because it works, um, but it also has a very small footprint. It doesn't use a lot of resources. Um, so I've been pretty happy with it. I always do a custom install because I want to see what's going on. And most of the stuff is okay. I don't need another language. Um, sometimes I don't install this. Sometimes I regret it. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and install everything this time. Uh, AVG was uh, uh, infamous for taking over your web search. And I think that may be what uh, that web uh, selection part, part was. But I can turn it off if I don't want it. Alright, so now it's going to install here. It's doing a pretty decent job. We can see in the background. Resources it's using. Note my memory is actually 1.1 gigahertz uh, or gigabytes of um, memory allocated, so 1.2 now. So the 3.5 for this simple prod, uh, this simple installation is, is overkill, but you know, you're going to need it for opening multiple windows and doing multiple things on your computer, so I'd recommend 3 minimum for um, or above, depending on your machine. Houston, we have liftoff. So normally I would kick this down underneath my desk. Um, if I didn't want to hear the noise uh, or put some type of uh, fan on it or something like that. It's annoying, but that's how these were designed.
Okay, so it's finishing up. Let's go, let's go. It's using a good portion of the CPU. Figuring products. So they have this uh, AVG Zen. And it says it needs to be updated, that's fine. Wait for it to finish up. Um, which, as I mentioned, seems to combine the 2015 free AVG and also the um, uh, some of the other tools from AVG that are free and then there's the option to buy of course um, yeah I haven't really seen a benefit from those other tools so I'd rather just have it install um, the simple AVG keep the footprint as low as possible especially for this machine um, I don't want to waste too much of my resources on uh, antivirus, but I want to be protected at the same time. So I don't want to hear about their products or, or help them improve it in this case. So, and we're done. So AVG shows up in the corner here. You can click on it. It's automatically updating all the definitions. It's taking me to their website. And it has this option to buy now. You can purchase it if you'd like. Um, honestly, I just haven't seen a reason to purchase it. The, the free is really good. Um, and it's, you know, solved the majority of the problems that I've had. Now, the, the, the one that is purchasable might not have solved those problems either. So, <laughs> um, ABG free, unfortunately, um, or fortunately in my case, um, has been enough for me to uh, have faith in um, and to you know uh, take away a lot of the virus that, uh, threats that are out there and, you know, prevent them before they even infect actually so it's a really really great um, program I've had a lot of success with it and I've uh, worked with the best I worked with Norton I worked with Kathy um, they're just so big and cumbersome they take up so much resource to use uh, this is definitely my go-to. I use this on all my uh, personal uh, machines, all my clients' machines. Um, and no updating fees every year, so that's pretty great. Alright, so uh, my network is actually pretty fast. It's what it's utilizing right now. Let's look at the resources that are being used. It's almost tapping out my entire CPU in order to do this. So. Um, obviously, if you have a, uh, a computer with a dual core or something like that, it would be a little bit easier for you to do some more complicated tasks. Um, not that this is complicated. Um, Alright, so we got the AVG antivirus. Um, I can see, I think they give you a free trial for these things um, when you first install. Which I'm not interested in, I only want the virus protection. So, close this. Alright, so it's running some stuff right now, so that's why my computer's nice and loud. So, safeguard the browser. So, for this, I go down here and this decline. Click that. Not interested in it doing browser stuff for me, really. All right, and then the fan starts to go down. Um, one thing you can do with these Optiplex GX two or six twenties um, with that fan noise is to just unplug the fan and then you know put another fan in its place that isn't regulated by um, the CPU. But when you start up the unit every single time, you're going to have to uh, click F one in order to get past it. But at least you can regulate the fan noise. Um, just have a consistent airflow. This tries to use these super fans that um, are a little ridiculous. Anyways, uh, enough about that. Um, so that's that's it on this particular um, video. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the in the um, comments. I'd be happy to answer them uh, if I can. Um, 
YouTube hasn't been the best about emailing me uh, in a prompt manner when people put comments on there. It's probably a setting or something I need to look for. But, but anyways, I uh, hope that's helpful. Uh, I'm going to do uh, uh, probably two more installs just to give a, a general idea of how uh, a single core P4 uh, 3.8 with 4 gigabytes of memory actually works with this Windows 10. All right, thanks a lot.